so hi guys so in this video I'm going to show you a C program uh, and the question is uh, if given a name uh, given a full name you need to print out the initials of the pro uh, initials of the name so let me show you how it looks like so initials the C okay so it should look like something like this so if we're given Paul Thomas Anderson it should be we should print it something like this p dot t dot Anderson okay cool so let's begin so first we need to do uh, we do with every C program we need to put the standard header file and the main let's do a return zero now we're, since we would be doing a C uh, string program so we need to include the string library as well okay now let's go so first things first we need to do a care name of 20 let's say 30 just for fun and let's do a print f um, enter your name over here and then you uh, scan f of over here person uh, person s um, let's do with cats actually let's do with cats so cats over here uh, name so we have the name now so we need to do is use a for loop so i would be equals to zero i less than uh, would be equals to str len of name and i plus plus now currently this is showing an error because we need to initialize the i somewhere in the program so we're going to say if name of i is not equals to a blank space then we are going to do is s of uh, s of p uh, is equals to name of i core now we need to do some initializations over here uh, p should be equals to zero and over here the name uh, should uh, we should do uh, s of 30 as well so now we go over here else now the logic of the program is uh, first things we need to do is end the string we do that by sp of the taking the null character and putting it at the very end of the newly created string and now uh, we also need to do that we need to make the each character the first character of each word because the s contains so each word of the sentence so essentially the each word of our name so we need to make that capitalize the each first words how we can do that do that by s of zero actually yes uh, s of zero and we're going to make that to uh, upper to upper uh, we're going to pass in s of zero over here now we have that now uh, we need to do is we need to check if that word is the last uh, word of the sentence how we can do that so one pro there is a one problem actually the last will not be uh, will not be generated because there is no spaces uh, after the last word because since we are checking for spaces only the last will not be picked up so the solution for that is str cat and we're going to say name comma uh, blank string now it will work okay so let's go over here say if uh, we need to check if that's the last word so name of i plus one if that is double equals to a zero that means that's the last word we need to print f that so person s uh, slash n comma uh, we need to print out the s okay else now we go with the else portion that means that is not the last word and uh, if it's not the last word we need to print f the only the single character dot so it's 
go over here s of 0 okay so now we will go out of the else block over here and we need to uh, reset things otherwise it would be the same so we need to reset make the string empty you can do that by making the first element of the s string to be a null character that means it will be an empty character and then we reset the value of p equals to zero uh, zero um, uh, over here okay two now let's see if it's all okay okay it looks fine let's go and run it so let's clear out the screen so that you can see gcc in shields.c over here and a enter your name we'll say paul thomas uh, and uh, son we get an error what's the error okay because we have not done a p plus plus silly errors uh, let's run the program again paul thomas anderson yeah cool pt anderson let's run another name uh let's see yeah it's working fine so thank you guys for watching this video please do like share and subscribe my channel um please do uh, subscribe my channel it would be a uh, great so thank you for watching this video till the end so goodbye see you in my next video Bye-bye.